two big reasons Houstonians head to Holly Seafood Restaurant and Oyster Bar. For starters, there's the mouth-watering mix of Southern favorites. Some even come with a Pan-Asian twist. Like this mezcal martini, loaded with luscious shrimp, crab meat, creamy avocado, and hearts of palm. All tossed in a zesty plantain charred chipotle lime dressing. Tim, that looks so pretty. For traditionalists, the decadent down south cake. Think Italian cream meets coconut with crunchy pecans and a rich salted caramel sauce. Well, the food was fantastic. Whoa, 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 whoa. The other big reason folks love Holly's, this guy. Chef Mark Holly, whose booming voice. How's everything over here? And warm personality set the pace. There's a saying we have in the kitchen, it's called, let them have it. If they want it, let them have it. You're smiling. No, because the food was delicious. A crab meat deviled egg with caviar. Oops. Can't let the caviar go to waste. It's pretty darn good. Holly's fusion of flavors will take you from the Louisiana Bayou all the way to the streets of Cambodia. This food definitely has the wow factor. The signature dish, a giant Thai red snapper. Came up with this dish uh, thinking about Asian meats, southern United States. It's served on a bed of southern Hopping John fried rice. And we take that with some field peas, we have ham hock, a little shallots, a little garlic, and then we're going to finish it with a little, uh, little soy sauce. Then stir-fried kimchi with collard greens, Thai curry, and Thai barbecue sauce. Wow! Look at that! I see why that's the dish here. The dish at Holly's. As you can see, they're starting to cook, they're starting to bubble. Also popular, Holly's Texas charbroiled oysters. Sizzling sensations with savory rosemary, nutty parmesan, and fresh cracked red pepper. Feel like I'm back in New Orleans. You are? Why go to New Orleans when you can come to Holly? He takes classics up a notch, too. I've heard about your rolls. Yes. These Parker House rolls fly off the pan, selling out just about every night. I've died and gone to New Orleans heaven. I thought they were some of the best I've ever had. You're such a well-respected chef in Houston. You've got a really cool past. And I have something kind of fun to share with you. You worked at Mason Jar. Yes, I did. I did, too. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so that makes you a jarhead like me. <laughs> yes. Fellow jarheads aside, this chef has trained some of the best chefs in town. So you t you're telling me you were their drill sergeant? I was a drill sergeant. Hired them, worked them over. He's a wonderful guy, a wonderful cook. So creative. Holly's muddled stew is one of his favorites. You know, folks in certain rural parts of the country, whatever they catch for the day or whatever they pick for the day is what they eat for the day. This steaming platter of plenty starts with one pan of stone ground grits with charred corn and another skillet for sauteing crispy pork belly and fresh seafood. And then we're going to add the skin side of the redfish. OK. And we're going to add three gulf shrimp. It's also loaded with fresh fingerling potatoes, roasted cherry tomatoes, and sauteed mustard greens. Put a couple cubes of the butter. Ah, now so, you're talking the good stuff, what right? What about one more in there? How about two? There we go. <laughs> then into the grits goes the Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and fresh herbs. That is one heavenly looking pan. It's all good and stuff in there. And then we're going to add a few of these clams in here. And look how beautiful this is, just the ingredients. This is awesome. Thank you. The whole plate gets drenched with a hearty reduction made from shrimp, lobster, and crab shell. Well, those grits are creamy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. Perfect is the word. The love of sharing good food with family all started with Mark's family. I actually named this oyster bar after Lancelot Holly, who's my grandfather. A family feel infuses all parts of Holly's, including the kitchen. You'll feel like family, too. You're awesome.
from my wine finds of the week. And this week we're talking big, bold Zinfandels. Perfect for cooler weather and perfect for anything you're doing on the grill. Steaks, brisket, even quail, all great with the little Zin, especially if you have a little mesquite in your fire. Up first, we're going to start with the bone shaker. Check out the label on this one. It's an easy wine to remember when you see it on the shelf. You're going to get big flavors of blackberry, dark cherries with a spicy finish. It's really a fun wine. At about $16 a bottle, you can't beat it. Up next, always a dependable wine producer. This is Silk Oak. These Zinfandel grapes come from Lodi, a region known for making wonderful Zinfandels. This is more of a medium bodied Zin, so it's a little lighter than the Bone Shaker, but still very good at about $15 a bottle. And I saved a really fun one for last, a Zinfandel that's aged in bourbon barrels. Yes, bourbon barrels. This one is called 1000 Stories. It too has a very eye-catching label. The buffalo on the label represents the pioneering American spirit. And this wine is certainly pioneering. You're going to think big, bold flavors, dark fruit, pepper, and then those bourbon influences come in. On the finish, you get some nice caramel, a little vanilla. This really is a fun wine at about $18. And as always, I found all my wines at HEB. When we come back, we'll tell you how you could win a relaxing weekend at a hotel and spa. How about a weekend away, complete with spa treatments? This could be your chance. Head to Good Taste TV right now and sign up for a chance to win a luxurious weekend at the Houstonian, complete with spa treatments for you and a guest at the beautiful award-winning Trellis Spa. We love to get social with you, so follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, if you missed any of Cheers to good taste.